Hey everyone, so today I'm here with a beauty haul. Um, this is part one of my haul because I am doing part two and it will be an accessories haul. But um, I've been doing a little bit of online shopping and in-store shopping. I'm not going to talk, I'm just going to get into it. And the first thing I'm most excited about because it just turned up just like uh, like an hour ago. It is from IK House and I've scratched off my address. But this is the third time I've bought from IK House. And sorry if you can hear noise, it is so windy outside and the house I'm living in now is like an old house so it doesn't really, it's not soundproof to the wind and the windows shake. Anyway, so the second time I bought it from it took like a month and a half and I thought, oh my god, do I want to buy off buy off them again? But they had a few things on there that I really, really wanted so I thought, why not just go on there and... At the time I bought stuff as well from another website so I thought mm, one of them will come eventually and I'll be all excited about one of them. So it comes like this and it's just got these little things inside. At the bottom I'm just going to pull it out because it's the first thing I've seen. It is the duo and this was like so cheap compared to what it normally is like at Beauty Joint from Beauty Joint but it was $4.99. And I'm really excited to try Duo because it apparently is the best. Like they sell it at Mac and blue, wherever else and everyone uses it. So I thought, ah, may as well. Whoa, these are big. I wasn't expecting that. These are the Red Cherry uh, number 113, 113. Okay, so that's them there. They're a lot bigger than what I thought they were going to be. But I guess I could try them for a tutorial being a doll. Next ones I got are the 747M for medium, obviously, and they look like that. They kind of remind me of the Ardell Demi Wispies, but just a little bit um, longer, obviously. But they're very wispy and they are long as well, but for a more glamorous, uh, dramatic look, they would be great. And they're not too full, but they still make your lashes look amazing. Next ones I got are some, what are these? 33 and they are great for bottom lashes which is exactly what I want because I want to do a few looks uh, for Halloween and just other things I've only got two of them but they are reusable if you take care of them so I got two of those and yeah just for a few looks I want to do that are coming up soon I thought that'd be great the last ones are the number 43 and these are apparently really really good um, again they are very wispy like at the ends they are quite long so they give you kind of a a, f a cat eye kind of feline look they're very long at the end um but i got four of these so i think i'm right for lashes for a little while like i don't usually usually wear lashes on a daily basis but they will be good when i actually do wear them and i want to try and get into more i want to try and wear lashes more not that i can't wear lashes i can apply them perfectly but i just want to get used to wearing lashes more often okay so the last thing i got is the la girl glaze what glaze lip paints and they look like that I think there are more shades now but when I bought them there were only six on I Kate house but that's them I'm extremely excited to use them okay, definitely this purple one here <laughs> but, okay so the colors I got this purple one is called koi this one here is called blushing this one here is a baby doll this one here is hot mess this one here, this is like a hot pink kind of colour. It's called Bombshell. And then the red one, of course, is called Pin Up. Because what kind of pin up look would you have without a red lip? So, that is it for my iKate House haul. They come with like a little tiny card, like normal. So the next thing I have got online is from Coastal Sense. And obviously this, it did not come in this, it came in a box. The um, brushes came in this little bag here. So, very well packaged and very cute, I must say. First off... I got I got three of them but one's dirty so I'll just put that aside <laughs> so I got two or three of the I think they're called the pro blending fluff yeah they're called the pro pro blending fluff and they are $4.95 each so I got three of those look like that they are meant to be a dupe for the Mac 217 I think 217 yeah I'm pretty sure I haven't got one because I'm in Australia they sent me a sample of some of their little hot pots they've got in on their online store. I really wanted to get some of their hot pots, but I just thought I'd get a few things so far. And then, you know, when I have more money, I'll lash out and get some hot pots because they apparently are great. And I do have the BH ones, but 
I really want some like glittery, shimmery, metallic-y kind of ones where BH have a lot of matte colours. So excited to try that out and get some more eventually. And then of course they send you a little uh, business card with I love makeup on it and it has Coastal Sense stuff on the back and their website and then of course their stickers. So yay! And then the last things I got from Coastal Sense is their Revealed palettes. I've wanted the Revealed palette for so long but um, Coastal Sense shipping is a lot more than um, BH so I thought I would so I just could never bring myself to paying as much proceeds as they charge. So I finally got the Revealed palette and while I was there I was like may as well get the Revealed 2 palette. And I don't have the any of the Urban Decay Naked palettes. So I was like these are meant to be dupes for them so I thought why not. And I've been playing around with this one because I thought it was the newest one and most people would have it or wanting to buy it and I thought I could do a few tutorials with it so I've been playing with this one but if you want to see looks with the reveal palette as well like I probably will do them but if you have a look if you want me to do a look sooner rather than later then just comment down below and I will do that but I love these two palettes I'll get them out and show you I am going to do a review of both palettes as well so I'll just give you a quick overview of them this is the revealed palette and as you can see, it's more like um, neutral colours and like goldy browns and all that kind of thing. And copper tones and that rather than... Obviously it's a dupe for the nude, uh, for the naked one and two. So that's it there. And some of the shades, they, they've got like a mixture of um, matte, satin, shimmery, glittery, those sorts of things. Those shades there are absolutely amazing and they're pigmented so... oh so like buttery and nice is the revealed 2 palette and of course this is inspired like it came out a few months after the naked 3 palette and of course it is inspired by the naked 3 as you can see it has more pinky rose gold tones to it um still has a few neutral palette uh, <laughs> neutral colors but still going with the gold and rose gold pinky tones so that's that one there and as I said, I am going to do a review, a more in-depth review of the two palettes. Oh, and if you see this, I burnt myself and it hurts. It doesn't look that bad on camera, but oh, it's starting to blister up and it sucks. <laughs> I'm going to be scarred. Okay. Next is a mixture from um, Kmart, Big W, Priceline, Target. Um, I just yeah been a bit crazy lately but I will get into it okay so the stuff from Kmart is just these two lashes here these are like the Ardell Demi Wispies pretty similar they are called fascinating and these have the invisible band on them and they stay actually feel so good on them on, on them they feel really good on your eyes um, they're not heavy or feel like really cheap and synthetic I think they were like four dollars so they're pretty cheap and also they sell a lash glue that I have but it broke so the top popped off. And then I've got the Darling Defining Lashes and these ones here come out to like a more pointed edge. Like they're small at the front. They're small on the, in the inside and then they come out to like a longer flick bit there and they're a bit thick on the outside. But I haven't used these yet but they have the same invisible band as the uh, fascinating ones. So I guess that would be nice, but they're only four dollars. So if they're not, then yeah, it's not that much wasted. Okay, so next is Big W, and what I got, um, I was actually in a rush to get makeup because I had a family emergency. Well, it wasn't really an emergency, but long story short, I had to get some makeup to wear. So I just wanted something plain Jane to go out with. So I got some um, Australis pressed powder and I got this in darkest brown. So I didn't even end up wearing makeup because I looked like an Oompa Loompa with my face. And it was too dark because so I was still kind of tanned but not too tanned. I don't know. It was, it was just too dark so I ended up not wearing makeup anyway. But next I got the Australis Mega Lash Mascara in... What is it? Oh, it's a waterproof. And it's black. I didn't know that it was waterproof. Oh no. But it just looks like that. Very slim packaging and nice. The wand 
it's like that and it's very gloopy and that it doesn't, I don't know, I, I've only worn it once and took it off straight away because I wasn't liking the way my face looked. Yeah, it just feels like really gross. Every other, other Australis mascaras that I've got have been good, I don't know about that one, I think maybe because it's waterproof. But next I got the Australis full on foundation um, stick thing and I absolutely hate this. My son got it all mean, blech, God made it all gross. Okay, so my son made it all feral and gross by taking it off and trying to put it back on. But this smells like, I don't even know what it smells like, like chalk, like wet chalk. It's, and as soon as I put this on, I started getting pimples, like, like I felt lumps under my skin all here and on my chin and I never break out from anything like I hardly ever break out only when it's that time of the month but um this is the right shade for me and everything I don't think I want to try it again and it's like my Maybelline one is not so creamy it's more it's it's a cream foundation obviously but it's not so wet and this is so wet and oily looking like I can see all the moisture on the side of it and I know, I think Brittany Lee Saunders did a review of this and she said she liked it, I think. But I absolutely hate it. It made me break out and it smells disgusting and it's so wet and it feels so cakey on the face and heavy and it's just horrible. And as I said, I didn't even wear makeup that day so it was a waste of time. <gasps> Next I got some stuff from Cat. Oh, Kmart. Next I got some stuff from Target and I got the NYX. Nixed. I got the NYX NYX um, eyeshadow base in. Doesn't say. I think it was a skin color one. Ah, skin tone. That's what it looks like there. I've only used this a few times so far, and it's actually mm, pretty good. I've got to work with it a bit more to see how well it actually goes, but so far I like it. Next, I got the Chi Chi Fabulous and Flawless Foundation in Too Fair. Um, I'm wearing it on my skin today. I was going to do a first impression review on this. I had such a major stuff up. <laughs> I had like three videos on my S on my camera that was already recorded and I was recording this, the memory card got full because I was in a filming day. Um, I went to the computer to transfer the files from my camera to the computer and they got deleted halfway through transferring and only two tiny clips of me applying this went through. I nearly had four videos done. That's why there are no videos up at the moment. I could have killed my computer. Oh wait. I wanted to punch my fist through the monitor. I was so annoyed. So I won't be doing a first impression because I had put my makeup on that day. It is, looks like that, it's got a pump. Um, mine, <laughs> I like came into the room this morning and realized that this wasn't done up properly. So it was laying down and all the foundation, not all of it, a lot of it tipped out, but it still got a fair bit in there. Like it was only a blob, but it was messy. <laughs> But it just looks like that. I am not very light, like uh, pale at all. Like I am pale, but not as much as I used to be. Because um, I do fake tan and it's kind of like, I don't know. My chest is still a bit dark from it. But this is the second lightest shade. And it has, um, it is yellow toned, which is surprising to find in a light foundation. Usually light foundations, like from drugstores, usually only come in like a pink tone, which is hard for girls that are pale with a yellow tone, undertone. But this is a yellow undertone. So yeah, if you're really, really pale, I don't know how the la the number one will be, but it's still pretty dark. So yeah, um, quick little review about this. It is um like it is medium coverage, and it's not. It doesn't go cakey when you try to build it up. It's actually pretty good. And when you put it on, you leave it for like a little while. Like usually when I leave foundations on, it's still like you can still feel the tackiness of the foundation, but this sets into your skin and like like sets like you can't feel your foundation anymore and it feels amazing on your skin um it hasn't broken me out which is good apart like compared to this one <laughs> but um 
it is a good colour match for me. I just have to blend down a little bit because my, my neck is white but my chest is a little bit darker. So I do have to blend down my neck a little bit like like normal foundations you would. Um, but no, it's great. I love it. Oh. The next little stuff is from Priceline. And the first thing I'm going to show you is out of its packaging because I have been using it. And I did a first impression but the video was really orange because I did it at night time and my light's orange. And, oh. But it is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and I absolutely love this. I haven't used any of my flat top kabuki brushes or any other foundation brush to apply my foundation in the last two weeks since I bought this. It is amazing. I don't have the Beauty Blender but if you're in Australia it's only like $15 or $16 from Priceline. And oh my god it's amazing. I mean it does, you probably could get it cheaper online. I know Beauty Joint it sells for like $7 but including shipping and all that kind of thing. I would just wait for it to finally come in store and it's been like a year <sighs> waiting for it but it is a bit dirty because I just used it um but it is so amazing this is like double I've dampened it and it's gone bigger so it's like double its size but as you can see it's really cushiony it is meant to be a dupe for the uh, beauty blender <laughs> so <laughs> next I got this these little gift thingy not gifting but like little um, pack of pigments and they are from Savvy which I think is an Australian brand I'll just say it's an Australian brand but that's them there really cute little bottles next I got some of my favorite mascara because mine had dried up and was nearly empty and I was sick of using dried up mascara I forgot how much I love this until I got a brand new one it was like so moisturized so liquidy but um, as you can see, I've got bite marks all through this because my son picked it up this morning when I was doing my makeup and started like chewing on it. Oh no. So lucky his teeth didn't go through that because it could have been really yucky and messy. But yep, yeah, I just got some of this. I also picked up some of my another empties of mine and it is the Australis eyeshadow base primer stuff and this is amazing. I love it. Um, I, when I first bought it, I didn't like it. I was like, oh, what is this stuff? But now that I've I started using again my old one, and I was like, I love this. And it, I was like, it's running out already. <laughs> so I got some more, and yeah. Next thing I got was this. Actually, I think I got this from Target. Yeah, I got this from Target. It's a Rimmel lipstick, and it is it's a lasting finish lipstick, and it is in number 77 Asia. And it looks like that. It's just like a really pinky nude colour. So that's Asia there. Next is another Rimmel lipstick and it is one of the Kate Moss ones. Um, it is 113 and it is like just a pale nude, like a, it's a very like orange toned. It's more like a peachy nude. And that's what it looks like there. And just above that is the Kate Moss 113 shade. So just there, it is a, like a pale nude colour. The lipstick I am most excited to show you is this um, Australis Colour Inject uh, Mineral Lipstick. And I have, this is my fourth one, or fifth one, and I absolutely love these lipsticks. They are so nice. It is called Gangster Wrap, and it is a purple. Oh, they are so creamy and so pigmented. That's it there. It's more like a, uh, I want to say pink. No blue undertone maybe? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not good with my colours. But that's it there. So, that's it for my beauty cosmetic kind of haul. Um, yeah, I have had that stuff sitting on down here for like two weeks. And my son, every time he comes in my room, he always tries to get into it. And I'm like, I need to have it all together so I know what I'm doing. <laughs> but, that is it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I would love that. And also, comment down below if you want to see any um, tutorials using any of this stuff I bought. Um, yeah, just any requests, questions, or if you want to say hi, just comment down below. I would love to hear from you. Uh, so please don't be a silent viewer. Please, please, please. I want to have more comments. I want to know what everyone's doing. I just want to know you. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so I will see you again soon. Bye!